Hi, we're here today with a brand new Lewis and Irene Snow Day 100% cotton flannel collection. We're going to be taking a quick look at the 15 designs in the collection, how the colour palette all works together, some of the curated bundles and also discussing some of the projects for this weight of fabric. We do have some free projects for you as well, like this one that you'll hopefully be seeing on screen now, um, which are available to download. Stay tuned as we take a look at all this and more. Hi, it's Charles at Empress Mills and today we are taking a look at the brand new fabric collection Snow Day which is from Lewis and Irene and in a slight um, difference for them is printed on a 100% cotton flannel fabric. It is only the second time that Lewis and Irene have created a pure cotton flannel range, the other one only being a few weeks ago. That proved popular and to be honest this range has already proved quite popular in pre-orders too. But when we delve into the designs and lots of the projects, I'm sure you will agree and see why that is. The designs themselves, um, the range name, Snow Day, you may well recognise if you're a fan of Lewis and Irene and have been for a while. It is actually a collection that they brought out on their classic 100% cotton quilting fabric a few years ago and it was incredibly popular. I think it was... Not long after they first established themselves, actually. I could, I could be wrong on that, but it feels like a quite an early festive range from them. It was super popular at the time, and we, to be honest, are so pleased that they chose to pop it on flannel because it's a nice, fun range with a little bit of a different take on both the colour palette mixed with quite traditional designs. Um, yes, so let's take a look. There are 15 prints in the range. This is so five main designs in three colourways, I should just say. It's how they tend to build most of their ranges this is one of the main ones and this is absolutely my favorite from the entire collection to be honest not that we should have favorites but there we go um this gives you an absolute flavor for the range to my way of thinking you've got this quite modern color palette with that nice sort of icy blue background but mixed with quite a classic design style so you've got this wonderful sort of classic traditional wintry scene we've got some sledging We've got a snowman, a happy little snowman, these chalets or houses with the um, with snow on the roofs and the Christmas trees and things. It's just a really nice, traditional, classic, Christmas festive style scene, but with that quite vibrant, almost icy blue colour palette there. And the reason why I mentioned the colour in particular is because they've done something quite interesting in this range. It is something that they try and build into many of their ranges, but it just seems to work really well with this particular collection in that they have chosen colours that I certainly wouldn't put together, but they work together across the range and also they don't just repeat that same shade. So we'll take um, we'll take a peek at that later on. But the other colourway in this to start with, so I can be showing you, is this wonderful sort of nice soft natural colour. And then there is also this shade, which actually, as a complete surprise to me, is Mum's favourite from this range. She likes it because of the uh, slight difference in it, and it just makes the designs a little bit... Um, the colour on the design pop is her sort of point on this. And it's this sort of nice soft mushroom background colour, as you can see just there. Um, so yes, one of, one of Mum's favourites. And then... And I'm actually going to jump to one of the other designs just really quickly. Nat, who sorts our cameras, will be shouting at me for this because it will be causing him, causing him some confusion when he sorts everything out. But this is where Lewis and Irene get quite clever with the way they use colours. This is the next design that we'll be taking a look at. So again, you've got this nice sort of a classic design. We'll look at that in more detail in a moment. But this is the darker coloured background from this particular set, uh, from this particular design. And just look how it differs to that one. So it's got that difference. So basically, what I'm trying to say, and I'm taking a long way of doing it, is that that colour background isn't just something that they then repeat and repeat and repeat across all the different designs in the range. They do make sure to change the tone slightly. The colours work together really, really well. Um, but it just means you're not left with everything all blending together because, yes, the uh, the designers have used the same shade. So that's just something to bear in mind um, when you're looking at the different fabrics in the range. I won't wait on about it much more than that, but you will see it with quite a few of the colours, um, how they, they very much work together, but they're not just repeating that, that same exact shade. It means that you get a really well-rounded, 
interesting project if you did want to use many of the fabrics all together in one particular project that you've got in mind. Um, yes, it's just something that Lewis and Aaron always point out to me and I think it's worth, I think it's one of those things worth sharing. So back onto the designs, let me move this one out of the way. And I might as well start with this one. Now I've got it in my hand. This is one of the other main prints. And as I mentioned a moment ago, it's got that real classic um, sort of traditional feel to it. We've got this little, almost a little island almost with the, um, with the house, with the sort of chalet on it. This little whiff of smoke coming out of the chimney there. Um, and then the little trees as well, the sort of pine trees on there. It comes in the three colorways. So we've got that shade. We've got this nice light shade as well. As you can see there and then also back to one of my favorite colors from the collection this sort of icy blue style color just there doesn't that just look amazing it's a really really nice range i'm sure um I'm sure, well i hope i hope you like it anyway i say i'm sure obviously depends on taste but it is a really nice collection i think and um, moving on we've got this super fun snowman and oops this is the first of the multi-directional designs oopsie daisies of the multi-directional designs in this range so you can be confident using it in any direction at all and again just a little bits of detail that lewis and i are in bother popping on it's nothing major but just just worth a mention you've got the different colors in even the hat the scarves um, and those colours do also transfer across, which again is where they pick up on the tiny bits of detail. So, for example, where is he? This little character here with that aqua coloured scarf and sort of icy blue coloured scarf is the same icy blue that you see on the background as some of the others. Those little details where everything ties together. Um, on to the other colourways. We've got this option, which is sort of the softer version of that darker colour we saw before just there and then also the first time in the range that we see this red and it's quite a soft red comes across as quite vibrant but it does have a softness to it just there oops so a really really splendid festive option is that one just there look at that red it's beautiful isn't it and we'll see that in a couple of the other prints as well um, yes indeed so that's the happy snowman let me move these out of the way oopsie daisies um, over here this is in fact I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with my favorite this is a wonderful print here this fantastic snowflake design on that icy blue background again and again, just look at the amount of detail Lewis and Aaron have put in. We've got all sorts of different snowflakes on here. Uh, well, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five. There's six different varieties of snowflake on there, all with little tiny touches of detail, including, and yes, it's there, Lewis and Aaron have used the hearts in a lot of them. And that's going back to the Lewis and Aaron threaded with love um logo and sort of tagline so they always try and well not always but they often try and bring that into some of the designs they don't go over the top with it but it's just again nice little touches of detail that you will spot throughout their ranges um that comes in the three colorways of course so we've got this nice sort of silver gray style background now although i said that that aqua, that, that ice blue was one of my favorites this i've got to say this silver gray background does make those snowflakes really really stand out gives them some really nice crisp edges to the uh, to the design on there and it is also available in that soft red as well which has been a popular shade up to now i understand and um, so yes we've got that there and again that's got some quite you know really defined edges on on those snowflakes with that red background um, but it's this lovely lovely soft soft red color that you can see there and we're on to the final design which is a nice good all-rounder um the flannels we'll talk about the particular pro the uh, the variety of projects should i say in a moment but this one in particular works as a really good blender so if you want to use it as a backing this and obviously the snowflake fantastic options obviously you can certainly use all of them but um 
as a nice sort of more general blending design these are fantastic options so we've got this one and it's a very much almost, almost a true tone on tone is this with that natural background and then the white uh, the white spot not a pure pure bright white don't get me wrong but it just stands out against that background it comes in the ice blue just there look at that that's wonderful isn't it that ice blue shade and then also the soft red as well just there which really really makes those uh those spodges stand out doesn't it just take a peek at that lovely lovely now that's it for the main designs we've got the curated bundles um which lewis and iron themselves put together and again i'm, I'm not going to labor the point but that is where you really see the variety of shades coming together and working so well so you've got different options right the way through those curated bundles and they work so well because those shades aren't just toning together because they're using the same shade it's the clever use of a variety of shades that make them work and give you um all sorts of different options so you can use them in a project without that project just becoming monotone almost um in terms of projects in fact, we'll talk about the fabric first because then that leads um, on nicely onto the projects. It is, let me move these, then we can look at it in detail. It is American weight flannel. What do I mean by that? Well, in the UK, um, certainly here at Empress anyway, when we talk about flannels, the mind often moves towards winsiettes and lighter weight brushed cottons, which is what this is. But an American weight flannel is that bit heavier. So you can expect to use, you could, you could use this on shirts, for example, it will be absolutely fine. Whereas a Winsiette or a lightweight UK style flannel, for example, wouldn't really be heavy enough for that use um, as standard, let's say. So that's what we mean by an American weight flannel. Other than that, it is a beautiful 100% cotton fabric that has a, bl a brushed outer. That gives it just the touch of a pile which adds to the warmth and it adds to the coziness of the fabric, which brings me nicely onto the projects. What can we use it for? Well, absolutely all sorts. Bear in mind, it's a warm, cozy, uh, mid to heavier weight fabric almost. I don't mean heavy like a boiled wool, obviously, but it's just got that heavier, in fact, I'll be spreading one out and we can see it in a bit more detail. Slightly heavier weight um, fabric. So in terms of projects, a lot of American customers, and this is why Lewis and Iron have started to create this range, in fact, use these funnels for quilt making and throws and things along those sort of lines. And we've actually got some projects for you. In fact, let me take a quick peek. I think we do. We've got them here. So there are three colour variations on this project. And hopefully with the powers of technology, Nathaniel will uh, help me pop these on screen in just a moment. He's behind the scenes at the moment. So we've got the first one, which we hopefully on screen now. Um, which as you can see features that red and white spot around the border and then many of the designs in the center element moving on we've got the second one which hopefully again on screen now we've got this lovely ice blue border this obviously one of my favorites i don't know if we've done about this ice blue a little bit much um but doesn't it work well with those soft reds and things as well just adding that pop of color against that sort of icy blue style background and obviously that lovely mushroom as well and then finally as you can see on this one this is using the natural more the sort of tone on tone spot around the edge of that quilt when i say quilt it is more of a throw in fact they may have even called it a throw but yes they've called it a throw on this uh, on, on this little bit of literature i've got here they are all 54 by 57 inch uh, finished pieces that you're looking at when we're taking a peek at those options We've got them all available as free projects. The lady, I think it was Sally Ablett again, she's a wonderful designer. Yes, Sally Ablett. She is a wonderful designer who works really, really close with Lewis and Ari. They share all their design secrets with us, so she sees the ranges out in advance of everybody else um, in the world, in fact. So she's planning these projects well out, well out in advance, and they are designed specifically with these fabrics in mind. So again, just a nice little touch. And available for free download all you need to do click the link underneath uh, click the link in the comments in the in the comments in the description underneath me and it will take you to our website where there's a download option there you can download those for free they are yours um 
Other projects, you can use this, as I, I've mentioned it a few times, you can use it for shirts. It is a lovely, lovely, cosy weight fabric. Perfect for pyjamas. Warm, cosy pyjamas, winter pyjamas um, would be absolutely ideal in this. They'd be, they'd be really, really nice in this fabric. And also through to things, again, it's going back to the quilt in a little bit of, um, in a little bit of a way, through things like cushions, it wears really well, does this fabric. So um, it will be fine on a cushion, particularly sort of a festive cushion, just to add that nice little touch um, to the decorations. And it would be a really, really cosy um, fabric to have on a cushion, nice, uh, nice and comfy. Um, and that is about it. I think I've covered everything. Just in terms of the weight, I will just, we'll just give it a little bit of a whack, and you can see it in a little bit more detail because I'm conscious that the weight is a question that we are receiving quite a lot about these American weight options. So hopefully that just gives you a little bit of a feel for the weight of it. Um, as I say, I hesitate to use heavy, but it is it is that bit heavier than a normal quilting fabric. It's got that bit more body to it and the brushed finish just gives it that slight feel of being a warm, sort of slightly more substantial fabric. Um, and obviously very, very cosy. Um, I hope that's been useful. If you've got any queries on the way, do get in touch. We will, of course, be pleased, pleased to help. Um, as we would with any questions at all, and you know what to do in those instances, leave a comment, you can message through the website or any of the social channels, or alternatively, do give us a call. I think I have touched on just about everything um, there. The only thing left to say, if you have enjoyed the video, if you do like seeing brand new ranges, we get lots of brand new ranges into the UK. We're often one of the first to have them because our pre-order things so far in advance, I get a bit carried away to be honest. But if you do like seeing things, if you do like chatting about projects, please do like and subscribe to our channel and to the video itself. Then you receive updates when we post fresh updates as well. Thank you very much indeed for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.